Welcome back. Our subject for discussion is regarding protection setting calculation for LV motor. So uh, these are the basic data for our motor. Actually, this motor uh, is being named as surge and loading pump motors. So the rated voltage of the motor is 450 volts and our rated power is 37 kilowatt. The fluid current of the motor is 64 amperes and our lock rotor current or, or our starting current is being rated as 600%. So our starting current is equivalent to 384 ampere. Just multiply our full load current by 600%. So that's why we there, we uh, we come up this six three hundred eighty four ampere. Seven hundred sixty eight ampere is the sub transient current generated by the motor when it is energized. This is twice the value of our lock uh, rotor current. So we just multiply two times three hundred eighty four. That's why we have this 768 ampere. Our motor starting time is 2.5 seconds and our duration of the subtransient current is 0 0.1 second. So in our next page, this will be the uh, data sheet of our subject motor wherein uh, we, we extracted some information which is uh, valuable and useful to our calculation so we have from here uh, we <clears throat> we took this uh, information for the full load current the lock rotor current and also the rating of the motor here the 37 kilowatt 50 hertz and 415 volt uh, the <clears throat> voltage of the motor so we are not going to discuss all the information here from the motor data sheet. We'll just discuss only what is only required for our setting calculation of our LV motor. The, our subject motor, there will be two types of protection. One for the magnetic and we will be using uh, MCCB here for our uh, magnetic protection. And the other one, thermal protection. Uh, we will be using a uh, thermal overload relay. So for our magnetic protection, the subject uh, we will going to use uh, MCCB breaker from Merlin Guerin with this model NS100MA and our thermal protection relay will going to use uh, from Allen Bradley and the subject relay, this is the model of the subject uh, relay Okay, so for the magnetic protection, the magnetic release, there must be a trip current to prevent the circuit breaker from operating during the motor starting phase to avoid noisance stripping. So the setting, it must be above the starting current. And also to ensure that the installation protection against faults due to short circuit current. So the value of the magnetic release strip current IM can be theoretically established by the equaling the peak value of the of the release strip current itself and the maximum peak current absorbed by the motor at peak up. So here we have here this will be our magnetic protection setting. So this will let's uh, go back to our what is the value for this this is the sub transient current let's go back to our uh, basic data for the motor on our first page this one so this is twice the value of our starting current this is the sub transient current generated by the motor when it is energized so we have here so we have here our uh, our magnetic protection by the way 
will be from Merlin Gillen NS100 MA MCCB. The magnetic wheel strip current requirement is 7600, uh, 768 ampere. This is our pickup current. And our magnetic wheel setting IM is equal to 800 ampere. So, why 800 ampere? Because there's no such exact value for because our uh, Merlin Gearing MCCB uh, NS100MA Let's check with with this MCCB from here Our motor is 37 kilowatt Okay This one And this is the model of the breaker NS100MA The rating of the breaker is 100 So That's why uh, this 800 is divisible by 100. So that's why uh, our setting here we rounded off by 800. Meaning, uh, this is 8 times the pick up value. So, by the way, this uh, Merlin Gray uh, Gearing uh, MCCB, the pick up value it ranges from 6 to 14 of the rated current so we have here so this is our breaker okay we have here our uh, magnetic release protection here the setting is from 6 to 14 of the rated current of the breaker okay so let's go back to our this one so this is this is the what is being mentioned here that it has uh, that this breaker has a pick up value of 6 to 14 of the rated current so our magnetic potation is being set with at 800 ampere the magnetic release setting then our second setting uh, before before discussing our set, second setting let's discuss first this uh, curve here this is the motor current curve actually this is only theoretical if you can check it from here this is the full current of the motor this area from here and this is the uh, starting current of the motor this one this this one here this is the subtransient current of the motor and i am this is our uh, magnetic protection which is in our case eight times the uh, rated current of the circuit breaker which is 800 ampere okay <clears throat> now for our second protection of the motor we our the choice of the thermal release setting has been made to allow normal motor operation and ensure that the release only for overload current so the thermal current setting is such to prevent accidental tripping during overload protection so the thermal release setting has been considered on this following on on our case we uh, will just multiply by 110% on our full load current. So our setting, our thermal release setting is being set at 70 amperes. So this is the photo of our thermal overload relay from Allen Bradley. And this is the uh, uh, model number of the relay. Okay, so we're going to discuss another type of motor protection. In our first uh, topic, the motor is being uh, protect, protected by two types of protection. One is for the magnetic protection. We're using the circuit breaker. And the other one with the thermal protection, we use the thermal overload protection relay. So 
another case for our uh, our another protection for the motor is to use an electronic overcurrent relay so this is the schematic diagram okay for our second subject motor and we have here uh, this is uh, <clears throat> the zero current transformer which is also linked to being connected to our electronic overcurrent relay so this kind of protection in this kind of example uh, let's focus on our subject will be this motor from here the first one okay from here this motor is being rated at 18.5 kilowatt with the full loop current at 35.7 ampere okay so our electronic over current relay model this HIMP is uh, from Hyundai so the range of this uh, the, rate, the current range is 5 to 60 ampere and our rating for this particular motor is for the 49 protection is being set at 112.5 percent of the full of current so we have here uh, being set at 40 ampere so the operating character characteristics rather is inverse meaning the higher the current the faster it will trip so time setting is the 10 okay this is our first setting for uh, for our on our on this particular motor this is for the 49 protection for the this electronic overcurrent relay there is also a setting for negative phase sequence or for the uh, protection uh, 46 uh, ANSI 46 protection so this type of uh, relay the EO uh, electronic overcurrent relay will just switch on or turn it on the negative sequence 46 uh, default and the time settings to be 0 0.2 ampere the third protection which is not actually this third protection is not being included on the first motor that we have discussed because we don't have any uh, city there to to sense to sense the ground fault so since we have here we have here the zero current transformer and being connected also to the EOCR we will be having here uh, a setting for our leakage current leakage ground which is we call it a 64 uh, protection using zero current transformer so we'll just turn it on on our EOCR I'll just we we'll just set also at 0 0.1 second so actually for low voltage motor we will have a several uh, way of doing settings uh, on this discussion I just provided with you a uh, few type of uh, motor protection earlier we discussed the, the first motor to be protected by circuit breaker and an overload protection relay this second motor we use the EOCR for the uh, protections of overload the 49 the negative sequence the 46 and the uh, uh, leakage current the 64 okay thanks for watching